Some activists gathering outside of the DEZ headquarters demanding that the agency order Noralite to stop operations immediately. The company's hazardous waste permit expired a year ago. News 10's Michaela Singleton now shares that story. There's a cake and candles, but it's no one's birthday. Neighbors who live around the Norlife facility in Cohoes delivered this cake to DEC headquarters today. It represents one year since Norlite's hazardous waste permit expired. The DEC in the past <clears throat> has not done enough. I'm hoping with the new Hochul administration, uh, we can really focus on these environmental justice issues. Would they want to live 100 feet from this facility? I don't think so. Neighbors living in the shadow of the plant's smokestack say when the wind blows, dust blows into their homes from massive ash piles. These neighbors and environmentalists say they got a letter from DEC Acting Regional Director Anthony Luisi that says in 2020 the office revised its definitions of hazardous waste that would put Norlite in violation for piling the leftover materials from its kiln into the open dust piles. Lead, mercury, arsenic, those are heavy metals. And if it's a heavy metal when it goes, it goes into the kiln, it's a heavy metal when it comes back out. I've had people come to me and say that their doctors have diagnosed them with a lung disorder that can only be attributed to working in an industrial factory. Um, which they don't work in an industrial factory. However, business is still as usual for Norlite because according to Luisi's letter, DEC can only revise the terms of Norlite's permit after they complete application for a new one. Luisi also says in a statement to News 10, quote, DEC is actively reviewing the use and management of baghouse dust at Norlite to determine if the facility is in compliance with all applicable requirements. His statement adds this is just part of an ongoing investigation with the Attorney General's office looking into Norlite violations violations and unauthorized activities. Norlite responds in its own statement confirming they are still working to renew permits, but also claims they're open to community input. Assemblymember John McDonald says he's sending a letter directly to Norlite today, challenging their claims of goodwill. To think about being the good neighbor that they pretend to be, that they profess to be, and to take actions now to change their operations. Reporting in Albany, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.